please don't, please don't. I can't look, I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. Oh God. Welcome back to my channel, Love Lauren here. And thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting and watching for the first time a movie that you guys suggested in the comment section called The Fly from 1986. I've never seen this movie before, but I saw that it was a horror sci-fi film, so I'm super excited to watch it. I absolutely cannot wait to see what this film is all about. So thank you so much for your suggestions in the comments. I really appreciate it. So without further ado, grab your chalky milk and your chicky nuggies and let's dive in. And we're off. This is starting off kind of interesting. Up his lab, or hmm. he's clearly trying to impress. Can't let you leave here alive. I call them telepods. Telepods, like for teleporting. <laughs> if it's actually in there, I'm wow. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Is she in so much shock that she doesn't realize what happened? I'm really not sure where this is gonna go or how it relates to flies. But I'm sure I'm gonna find out. Oh wow. He thinks this guy's a magician? Oh jeez. He didn't seem he wasn't impressed by your tape? He thinks you're a con man. Excellent. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Excellent. I'm really interested to see how they turn this into a horror movie because right now it just kind of seems like a cool like science thing. You know, I'm guessing that they try to teleport something and it goes maybe horribly wrong. Lee full of shadowing. <gasps> no, what are they putting in there? What the f He couldn't have started with something smaller, like a bug? I think it uh, turned the baboon inside out. Steaks. He's got a SpongeBob wardrobe. Make you one? That was my favorite shirt! Very cute. <laughs> he looks confused almost. <laughs> oh god, something stuck to your back. Oh. Mm. Uh. What the hell? How did that get stuck on his back? That's where he should have started. With the meat. So did he teleport the meat and now he's gonna try to eat it? Oh. Mm. Okay, funny. It tastes, um, synthetic. Oh. So what have we proved? Interesting. I think it's time for champagne. Please! I wonder when this is gonna twist. It means that I'm your editor and I'm shaping your material into a story. You're the one who told me there was. This is why you should never mix your personal life with your work life. I don't know about you guys, but this guy's just screaming red flags. Won't take no for an answer. Obsessive, confrontational, stalking. All red flags. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Is he putting him in there again? Oh, okay. I was like, please don't. Is he putting himself in there? No, bro! That was such a bad idea. This is a bad idea. It's too bad Ronnie missed it. Uh, what happened to the fly? Is he still in love with you? In love? I would say obsessed. learning in school that flies actually have pretty similar like DNA 
in some ways to humans. So I, I wonder if it like crossed his DNA with like a fly. He seems different though, since he went through the thing. Jesus. He, see, he seems a little different, I'd say. <laughs> see, it seems a little different. Oh, maybe he could do that before. We just didn't know. Been uh, obsessively pursuing goal after goal. A lot of sugar. He's pulling a. He's pulling a Men in Black. What? Sugar water. Give me. Sugar in water. What's this? It's an attempt to distract me, that's what it is. No, really, what is it? It's like hair. Those look like little fly legs, like sticking out of his. One of the compensations of old age. Out of his cuts. Listen. I want you to go through. I want to teleport as soon as possible, right now. Seth, you have to listen to me. You're afraid to dive into the plasma pool, aren't you? Sick, or she's just afraid of getting turned inside Deep. out. I'd be scared to get into that teleportation device too. I think anybody would be. Is he just going to the bar to find someone to put in there? <laughs> can you imagine going to a bar and be like, hey, you, uh, will we, we have a drink with me and maybe after I can stick you in my Scott. teleportation device? Is that all just a bunch of sweat? <gasps> oh, I was concerned low key. What I know about arm wrestling, you can literally snap somebody's arm if you're not careful. And I was thinking that hopefully that doesn't happen and it did. So he's just gonna take this lady in there and be like, get on in there. What's the plan? I feel like he's just gonna throw her in the tub. <laughs> oh God. Did he just do it again? Oh, what is that going on on his back? How about a nice alcohol rub? Don't do that, it hurts. Alcohol yeah. rub. He's looking bad. He's yeah, I was gonna say bad. his face looks like it's like Never been much of a bather. gradually getting worse. Oh. And he's eating a bunch of sugar. Yeah, that's a strange thing. Something happened when you went through, Seth. You've got to get some help. I think you must be sick. You're jealous! Yeah, look at your face, bro. Like, what's going on? Oh, stop! Oh, no! Wait, no! <coughs> oh, what the f Please don't, please don't, please don't. I can't look, I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. Oh, God. No, I can't do it. Oh god! Oh! It's a fly! Fusion! Yeah, I fused him with the fly. Oh no! No way to reverse this, I don't think. Like, how is he gonna reverse it? Veronica, you don't know how right you were. I've gotten much, much worse. Please come see me. Oh, f I'm scared. I'm scared to see what he looks like. Oh my gosh, he's deteriorated so much. In his lifetime, right? Flies have a really short Shit. lifespan. My teleporter turned into a gene splicer. It's a very good one. Seth Brundle anymore. There must be something we can do, you know, somebody we can go to, a test that can be done. No! There, I'm not sure what could be done. Oh, jeez. My, help me. Please, please help me. God, what do you even do? Like, how would you even help him? Oh, look at this. What's this? I don't know. 
That is really, Maybe not such a really creepy. After all. Do I think that's worth a Nobel Prize or two? Here. I think he's trying to turn the negative into positive, and I'm not yeah, sure it's working out. God, he doesn't even look like the same person. I'm pregnant. Oh, no. I'm pregnant with Seth's baby. Before or after teleportation? Why do I feel like it's after? Does that mean she's going to have a genetically mutated child? Oh, no. What's happening? Is that a larva? Oh my god, come on! Oh, my Atlanta. He has no teeth. Oh my god, is that the rest? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, look at this poor guy. Jesus. I I just I wanted to see you. You have to leave now. And never come back here. I'll hurt you with this day. Oh no. She seems pretty scared about having a child with him, which I mean, I guess nobody could really blame her, especially if it, if she conceived post him going through that teleportation device. Oh, <laughs> just busted in there and just Still not a fan of this guy. Still don't like him. What's he planning on doing here? Oh, do you see the shadow behind him? <laughs> there he is. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh! It just like dissolved it. Oh my god! It like dissolved his hand and his foot. That was so gross. Come together there. You, me, and the baby. Together. Into one? Wait, what? He wants to splice himself and her and the baby into one being? We'll be the ultimate family. All of his flesh. Oh my god. Oh my god. so sad this is just sad look what happened to him you're not even gonna take him out of his misery god that's horrible liked it. I, I don't know. I feel mixed on it. I don't know. It was just the most bizarre movie ever. I obviously didn't like the guy. The ex-boyfriend, I don't like that they turned him or tried to turn him into like a hero. And then this other guy who's like seemingly a good guy, he's just, you know, a scientist. They like kind of turned him into the bad guy, which was weird to me. 
because he seemed like the good guy in the beginning and he still seemed like a good guy by the end. He just like wasn't thinking right. He wasn't himself anymore. This is just a really sad story more than anything. Like this guy, you know, he wanted to change the world and he had these big dreams and he made this teleportation thing and then and it didn't work out. You know, he put himself through it and obviously didn't know the fly was in there and damn, it's just like a freak accident. But it feels really sad more than anything. Like I felt like if there's an emotion I could name right now, it would be sad. It was definitely scary, uh, mostly kind of like gory and gross. I did enjoy it. So thank you so much, you guys, for the recommendation. I did enjoy watching it. It was very bizarre. Hey guys, love Lauren from the future here. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to me on Patreon. I appreciate your support a ton. If you want to see some sneaky peeks and some of the other content that I create, check out my links in the description. I would love to connect with you guys there. Thank you so much for recommending this film to me. I really appreciate it, you guys. If you have any other recommendations for scary movies that you think I might not have seen yet, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate your support a ton. Thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Until next time. Dee dee.